Hello and welcome back everybody. It's Complicated Relationships Reddit Stories. Hope you guys are safe and healthy. Now let's see what the story is about today. What I'm going to confess breaks my heart every day. I've heard countless individuals since I was a self-centered person who trusted nobody. I've experienced so many heartbreaks prior to getting married that I have no trust in men. Now let's see how this story goes. Also, if you like what I do, please give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. My father passed away from cancer, and one of the last things he told me was, trust no man who works all day. There's no such job. My father left my mom for another woman. I know the ones who will listen to this will hate me for what I did to my ex-husband, but let me tell you, he may hate me, but I will always love him. There is nothing I can do to make up for what he has done for me and my kids. He can't hate me more than I hate myself. When we first met in college, he was engineer major and seemed like such a confident fellow. He was hilarious and really smart. We graduated and he became an officer rank in the military. Before boot camp, he would train for the whole day. I was bored and he never had time for me. Now this friend gave her hints and suggested that they should hang out as friends. He used to tell me he feels out of husband's league. Let's call him John. John would always text me funny jokes. I didn't feel like it was anything bad, so I texted back. Next thing we know, the jokes turned into flirty comments. At this point, husband was nowhere near, and if a man is never near, he's always cheating. John would always say that husband is taking advantage of me, but gives me no time for me. I agreed. John and I went on dates while husband would be in training. We ended up getting a hotel and spending the night together. John made me promise that I won't tell my husband. I said, well, he's doing the same thing, so I don't care if he's hurt. Fast forward two years later, I got pregnant. I tell husband I'm pregnant and he gets super excited. He picks me up and starts crying because he's going to be a father. He tells me he loves me and kisses a thousand times. I never told him about his friend John. I asked him if he's seeing someone else. He swears he has never done anything like that. She had no time to feel guilty, so she never told her husband. He took care of her the whole time. Rents out a beautiful place for the baby shower. What an awesome man! Invited 300 people in a matter of two days. He loves to feel in control and doesn't let me lift a finger. My mother loved him. My mother-in-law called me her baby. Whenever husband and I argued, she would slap him for arguing with her baby. Honestly, my new family was amazing, all the more reason to hate myself more. I gave birth to twins, two beautiful babies that came out looking nothing like my husband. My heart drops. I'm scared he'll notice. They come out looking like John. While my husband goes and trains, I'll go and meet his closest friend. While he's excited for having a baby, I'm going behind his back. Why did I keep going? He wasn't there for me physically. While he's at boot camp, I couldn't afford of being spotted with John, so we met secretly. While I receive his letters, I would write back while John is sleeping next to me. Husband was there for the birth of the girls. He held them for the first time and started crying. He said he's going to be an even better parent than his parents. I believed him. I couldn't make eye contact because I'll feel super guilty. I knew they weren't his kids. I didn't know how to tell him. John knew as well. Now, a year later, her husband took them to Disney World. He surprised her with a beautiful ring. Since the day I met you, you've been there for me. We studied together, we graduated together, we made a family together. There's nothing we can't do. Every time I look at my girls, I fall in love all over again. I have the best right in front of me and will never let go of my girls. You make me a better man every time. I need you for the rest of my life. Will you marry me? Of course, I said yes. My tears weren't tears of joy, it was tears of guilt. He wiped them off and said, Why do I feel like I see guilt in your face? My heart dropped and I said, No, I'm happy. I love you. I did love him, but I didn't deserve him. John and I still saw each other. Husband would get deployed and we would have met constantly. Husband couldn't tell me when he was coming back. John told me it's all a lie. 
He said, he's coming back in five months. Husband said, he can't tell me what he does in the military. What job in the military is so secretive unless he's a spy? B.S. in my mind. I was so sure he was seeing other women. John and I would take care of the girls as husband is away. I told John he needs to work so he can take care of his kids. John told her not to tell him what to do, that he's a grown man. We argued and he said, careful, don't make me tell your husband. I can't afford for something like that to happen. I stayed silent. One day he wanted to be intimate and I said, what if he's not seeing other women? What if he's just working? He hugged me and whispered, listen, I knew this man my entire life. He always lies to women, telling them he loves them, and when they're not looking, he's with another woman. Then he took me to the room. Ten minutes later, husband bangs right through the door. My marriage was over. In a flash, I saw his tears, and then he's loading at the best man of our wedding. I'm telling him to stop. I'm trying to get him off of John. What can I do? I'm doing the best I can to stop him. I push him back and make him look at me. He is angry. I'm crying because I've never seen him like this. The husband literally messes up the whole room. I was so scared and at this moment I believed he never did anything behind my back. Cops were called. So much happened. Two weeks later we had to get paternity and lie detector tests. My world dropped. Husband has never been with another woman behind my back. Never even kissed. I haven't seen my husband in six months. How is it possible my husband never went behind my back? He answered every question truthfully. What have I done? I've been betraying my husband since the beginning. The baby shower, the gender reveal, during the wedding, etc. And while my husband was deployed, I brought his friend over and I made him believe he's the father of my girls. All this was revealed to him that day and the guilt I tried to compress for years exploded out of me. John's test revealed he's been lying, and he was a jealous POS, so he decided to break their marriage. Her mother was heartbroken. She cried all night. She loved my husband like her son. She told me that I'm just like my father. He gave you a home, while he's out there putting food on the table, giving you a comfortable bed, taking care of your kids, he's surviving out there. You couldn't tell him he's not the father, that the father is the best man of the wedding, and you're pregnant again? Were you going to tell him he's the father to this one too? She said that she failed as a mother. She looked down and walked away. I found my husband sitting on the floor, out of his mind. I hold on to him and started begging for his forgiveness. I've destroyed the one man who loved me, the man who never went behind my back. He always had my back. I thought, maybe we can make this work, and if he gave me another chance, that I would be the best wife there is. He divorced me. Before all that, one of his men said to me, do you know what he went through? He ordered me not to say a word, but it's women like you that make me not want to marry. He saved my life. He saved a little girl's life. You've betrayed a hero. Fast forward eight years later, the husband hates her to this day. I beg for forgiveness, but he ignores me. I haven't seen him in months at this point. He's still in my girl's life. I still feel tremendous guilt, but what can I do? I wish I could change things. My son is eight years old at this point. My baby. The best little man God has given is sick. His heart is failing and it's very serious. Telling me not to cry, that he's going to love me even when he's not here. All of a sudden, doctors come in for surgery. My baby needed a heart transplant, but I don't have that kind of money. Nurse brings me outside and tells me it's all been paid for. I asked, who? When? How? What? Who? My sister runs up to me. She asked, did they take her nephew? I shouted, yes, but asked, who paid? John wouldn't have given the money. Sister shook her head and said that she asked my ex-husband for the money. My world dropped. My heart dropped. There's no way my ex-husband has this much money. About five hours later, I saw my baby sleeping. The machine showed his new heart beating like a drum. I started crying, kissing my baby. I called X and he won't pick up. I constantly keep crying. The man I hurt so badly. 
the man I betrayed with his best friend, the man who stayed with my girls because he couldn't bring himself to leave them, saved my baby boy. The ex-husband was the only person in the world that was able to pay for her baby's surgery. John never took care of his kids ever since D-Day. He abandoned them. Of course, X didn't take care of my baby boy. He never hated him, but he never built a bond with him. My baby always asked me who his father is. I cried and hated myself every day. I look at the mirror and see the woman who destroyed her kids' lives for being selfish. My baby starts walking again later on. I beg X to let me see him, that I need to find a way to make it up to him. I know there's no way for me to ever do that. He told me that, in the military, he had to tell tons of parents their son or daughter has passed away, and it never got easy. He said he never wanted to see me bury mine. He never wanted the girls to lose their little brother. So, he instantly paid for the surgery. Till this day, he's never trusted another friend, not to mention women. He doesn't have biological kids. He pushes everyone away before they get the chance to know his name. He visits his late comrades every weekend. I always ask God for forgiveness and, for one day, for him to forgive me. I could never forgive myself, ever. End of the story. Well, OP, he won't forgive you like you won't forgive yourself for your past. Nothing can change this unless you start time traveling. What you can do is work on yourself to be a better individual for your kids, most importantly, you. Leave this man be because nothing you say can soothe this pain. Don't ever deny him what's kept him confident to go forward, his kids, because they'll need him more as their father in the future than he needs them right now. Love, romance can always be found, but unfortunately it won't be here anymore. Anyways, I wish you all the best. Thank you all for listening. Please like, comment and share the video if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when we upload the next video. Take care.